So I've had to perform emergency surgery with a hot glue gun and stick them back together the best I could. Some didn't make it and I did eat one. Hello everyone and welcome to a Christmas special of the Blind Pinterest Challenge. Of course, in this episode, I'll be recreating Christmas crafts from Pinterest with no instructions. Wish me luck. Okay, I think I'm going to start off with a pretty easy one. And it's this easy mason jar Christmas crafts that are just as pretty as they are fun to make. And I do think it looks very cute. I assume I'll just need some sort of lid, maybe some beads, and just some little Christmassy things and some glitter. Glue it all together and we should have a nice Christmas decoration. Decoration. And I think it'll be pretty cheap to make as well, which is always a bonus. I think I'm going to make this wooden snowman as well. Obviously, it's just wood nailed together and painted. Add a scarf and some other decorations and you're fine. And I think they look quite cool. The picture they've got is absolutely terrible. The quality of it's awful. But I can imagine if you do it really nice, these will look so good. And they might look really nice outside. Like kind of like a porch decoration or something. And I think it'll be relatively easy to do as well. I don't think I can screw this one up. I'm also going to try a DIY terracotta flower pot Christmas tree. And I think this will be quite handy if you don't have room for like a normal size Christmas tree. And theirs look really good. So hopefully mine will look just as good, if not better. And again, I think it's going to be a relatively easy Christmas craft project. I, I shouldn't have any issues with that one. Okay, I am cheating a little bit with this one because... It's basically giving us the instructions. Not that it would be too hard to do anyway. I think I would come to the conclusion of hot glue and candy canes to a dish. I'm not that stupid. But I think it looks really cool. I think it'll be a nice centerpiece for a Christmas table or like a lunch, Christmas lunch or something like that. And it's just candy canes, hot glued ribbon and some flowers or foliage in the center. If I keep picking all these easy ones, I've got no excuses, have I? And I think the final Christmas craft that I'm gonna do in today's episode is this felt Christmas Christmas tree corn because unlike the others these don't look stereotypically Christmassy I think they look quite modern and sophisticated which is something you don't really associate with Christmas decorations they're usually quite gaudy and if I'm honest this is one I would probably screw up the most because already it's got a textile element to it and that just sends us into a frenzy I just need to keep myself calm and have some composure if I'm going to tackle this craft project otherwise it'll all just go wrong okay I think I'm just going to stick with them Christmas crafts for today's episode. I don't want to get too carried away. I probably already have done. And I also didn't want to overcomplicate things up pick something that was just going to be impossible because I do have some Christmas crafts saved on a Christmas board. I don't know what I was thinking saving them. I'm never going to get round to making them because they just look too hard. I just want an easy life. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit and we can start some Christmas crafts. Well, I'm back and I'm on my second energy drink, so I am ready to craft. I think I've drank too much actually, because I've got too much energy now. Okay, let's put this energy to good use and let's do some Christmas crafts. <laughs> okay, I think I'll do the little tin lid Christmas decoration first. I'm gonna drill a hole in the top of this so I can thread the twine through first. <sighs> Don't trust myself. <sighs> we did it. So I think the background will probably need doing first. So I'm just gonna use some regular glue. Don't want too much because I don't want it to be too wet. Okay, that's that done. Now glitter. I was debating whether to do silver or white, but I might do both. Be crazy. This was the right choice. I love glitter. It gets everywhere, but I love it. Okay, I think that's a good start. Look at that, yes. I think I'll glue the Christmas tree on first. I was gonna use a hot glue gun for this, but I thought it might be a bit too messy, so I'm gonna use super glue instead. <sighs> super glue takes forever. Right, one Christmas tree on. Now, my little deer. My deer's a lot bigger than this. This Christmas tree's not stuck, man. I'm gonna go for hot glue. <laughs> I knew I should have. I always do this. I always think, oh, super glue will be fine. And it just never is. Always use hot glue. It's okay. We're after a little bit of a rough start, but we've had worse. All right, let's try again. So much easier. Now for our deer. <sighs> the hot glue's... Hot glue's solidified too quick. This is supposed to be the easy part. Right, take. 28 or however many times I've tried to do this. Quick, before the glue dries. And Bambi's successfully stuck now as well, yes. Okay, now brace yourselves. Are you ready for this? I bought pretty much exactly the same 
beads that they have. That is effort. I deserve a few points for that. Like, it's pretty close. It's not exactly the same, but it's very close. I don't know how you can't see any of, like, their glue or anything in there. It's not fair. This is so small and fiddly. It's driving us a little bit crazy. We're getting there, finally. It's only taken us... Just over 16 minutes. So far, so good. Right, now in their pin, they had a couple of these down at the bottom for some reason. I don't know why, but if they've done it, then I'm going to do it too. Okay, now a bit of twine. Done. Okay, so we have expectation and reality. And I think mine looks pretty damn good, to be fair. Yes, it's missing one Christmas tree and my lights are a little bit sparse. But other than that, I think I've done a pretty good job. And I just think it's super cute. If I was doing this and I wasn't following or trying to follow the exact pin, I'd have put way more stuff in it. It's, it's just a little bit too minimal for me. But other than that, I do think it's adorable. And working this out, this probably cost me about £2.50 to make, which isn't too bad at all. I think that's all right. I think if you went to a shop and this was for sale, it would cost you more than 250. It would be made better, but it would cost you more money. Okay, so I thought I would move on to the plant pot Christmas tree next. And I've already got my plant pots here. I just bought plastic ones instead of terracotta ones because I thought it'd be easier. And I've already spray painted them green, a very bright green. Now, obviously I just want to hot glue these together. Getting a bit of a wide angle here. Good job I've been on a diet so I look extra slim. I haven't really. Now for the top one. I think that looks pretty cool already. My paint job was a bit rough, but that's okay. Now for the decoration. And again, it's just a lot of hot gloom basically. So I've got some beads like this. I'm going to use these beads as well. I don't want to waste them. And some of these little Christmas pony beads. And a star for the top. And I think that'll be good enough. I, d I don't want too much. Says me. I think mine might potentially look better than any of theirs, you know. I think mine's looking elegant. That sounded sarcastic. I didn't mean it to sound sarcastic. I was being sincere. I'm not sure whether I want to stick these on. I think it might be a bit too much. It's, it'll be too much. I'm going to resist, which is very unlike me. I'm just going to go for the pony beads. I'm getting there. It's taken a while, actually. I thought it was going to be a lot quicker than what it was, but it's not. However, I do think I'm making mine on a huge scale compared to theirs. Looking at their picture, I think theirs is quite small, whereas mine is almost the same size as a regular Christmas tree. Well, no, it's not. That was an over-exaggeration, but it's still quite big. The thing is, I wasn't going to put them light ornaments on because I thought it'd be too much. But now I don't know when to stop with the pony beads. When do I say no? When have I got enough? There's no one here to tell me. Okay, I think I'm going to stop because otherwise I'll just cover the entire thing. <laughs> All right, now time for the star. I think I'll go for red. Okay, so we have expectation and reality. And like I said, I think mine looks better than all three of theirs. I think mine looks so good. I think because I've made it ginormous, if you got it really close to it, you would see giant blobs of hot glue. But we just won't go there. We won't go that close. But I think I might put it in the background so you can see it. So the studio looks a little bit more Christmassy. It's looking a bit boring, isn't it? Ah, we'll put it there for now. <laughs> right in the corner. And that cost me around about £8.50. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, not mad at that one either. Okay, so the next Christmas craft idea I thought I would attempt is the wooden snowman. And I started off by cutting some random planks of wood I found around the farm. Oh, that was terrifying. Oh my god. <laughs> this is thicker wood than I'm used to cutting. Oh my god, that was scary. <laughs> oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. It was a terrifying experience. I didn't enjoy it one bit, but it was done. 
thank God. And the reason I'm using older wood rather than getting some fresh new wood is because in their pin it looks a little bit more rustic, so I thought it was quite fitting. I then just glued those pieces of wood together and wiped off the excess. A couple of days later, I glued a shorter piece of wood on top of the three pieces of wood that were glued together and hammered in three nails as well. I'm not sure why, but it looked like they did that in their pin, so I'm just following the rules. Once the glue was fully dry, I painted one side blue, one side white in a pretty slapdash way. Also, for the facial features, I did basically exactly the same from an old broom handle that I had left over from when I did the wheel crafts, I think. Yes, when I made that chair. That chair. Just so I had some eyes, a mouth and a nose. Okay, so now it's just time to give this snowman life because at the moment it doesn't look like anything, does it? So I'm just gonna glue all its accessories on and hope for the best. <laughs> I think it looks so fun. Oh, I think I've done its face too low down. The scarf's gonna go right here. Oh, never mind. Oh, I think my scarf's a little bit short. Oh no, that's very short. Ah oh, well, it still has the same effect, it's okay. Okay, and I think I'll stick some of these on the top. Maybe it's up here. How many do I want? I think I'll stick about three. Okay, so we have expectation. And reality. And I think I've done a pretty decent interpretation. I'm quite surprised with myself. The only thing I wish I'd changed is I wish I'd made the face a little bit more scrunched up because it's a little bit too far apart, especially compared to the original. But other than that, I'm pretty pleased with it. And you might be surprised to know that this only cost me 15 pounds and 48 pence. How cheap is that for such a giant Christmas sculpture? I, I think that's money well spent. Okay, so I thought I would move on to the candy cane centerpiece and I didn't buy a glass jar specifically for this because it doesn't really make any sense. You can't see the glass jar so I just had this old pot lying around and if you were with my channel before I changed all the studio around and stuff like that you might recognize this pot and the plant that used to be in there. Obviously it died a long time ago because I can't keep plants alive. So I thought I would turn this into the candy cane dish. Now another mistake I've made, well not really a mistake, this isn't a mistake. But I did order red and white candy canes and they've come and they're red, white and green. So it's already quite different to what they have in their pin. But I tried. Also, I'm just worried that although I've got this many, so I've got quite a lot of candy canes, I don't think I've got enough to cover this pot. So that might be an issue, but we'll let future ant deal with that. Also, there's just so much packaging. Like every candy cane is wrapped in plastic and they're all in boxes, so it's going to take me forever just to unwrap them all, let alone stick them to this pot. I think I'll unwrap all of these and then... Oh, this one's broken. I don't think I'm going to have enough and you're already breaking on us. This is not a good start. I'm going to unwrap these and salvage the ones that aren't broken. Hopefully that's the only broken one, otherwise I know I'm going to be screwed. And then I'll meet you back when it's time to stick. Well, I'm back, and that took me far longer than I thought it was going to, because about 50% of those candy canes were smashed. So I've had to perform emergency surgery with a hot glue gun and stick them back together the best I could. Some didn't make it, and I did eat one. So we're off to a rough start, but things are going to get better. This is not going to be my fault if this turns out awful. It's the candy canes' fault. So after a long time hot gluing, I fully covered it. I am also losing so much energy. I started off with so much, it's all gone now. Since it's Christmas, I'm pulling out all the stops and I'm gonna do it properly. So I even bought foliage to go on the inside. I think I'll cut these roses down. They sent me one without a rose head on. I want my money back. Do we think that's enough? Ah, oh, I've just realised I wasn't even in frame on the camera. If you couldn't see any of that, I can only apologise. There, there's my floristry. It's what happens when time goes on. I can't control the cameras, oh. Shit YouTuber. Okay, so we have expectation. And reality. And considering I've had quite a few issues with this, I don't think it's looking too bad. It is so sticky. 
it is gross. And I was going to add a ribbon to it, but couldn't be bothered. I could only find a white one. I couldn't. I can't find my red ribbon. I know I have some somewhere in the studio, but it is not in my ribbon drawer. So it could be anywhere. Now, how much did this cost me? I hope you're sitting down for this because you're going to be quite alarmed. But this cost me £39.79 to make. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. No wonder I never have any money left. It's nice. It's all right. It does not look like 40 quid. Right, so moving on to the final craft project of today's Christmas episode. And it's going to be the one that I was worried about the most, but after that candy cane pile of shit, I'm not that worried about it anymore. Right, so for the base of this, I bought this kitchen, what's it called? Paper towel roll holder. I've also got myself a polystyrene cone, and now I just need to mount it onto here. Also, I've already pre-cut my felt into triangles and I've gone for a pale blue because I think that'll look nice. So I just want to cut a hole the best I can around here. I'm going to shove lots of hot glue on here just so it's secure and then impale this. Yes. Just hold it still so it can't move. You're not moving. The later it gets in my videos, the more I lose my mind. So now all I need to do is hot glue my triangles to this, and hopefully I've got enough. If I don't, I'm not gonna make any more. Well, I probably will, but I don't want to. I really don't want to. Okay, so we have expectation and reality. And I think I've done a pretty decent job. I think it almost looks exactly like what theirs does in their pin. And I'm not sure why I was so freaked out to begin with to make this because it was just so easy to do. Also, this could quite easily not be just for Christmas. This could just be year round, normal kind of decoration. And this cost me 15 pounds and 98 pence to make, which I actually don't think is that bad. So that just about does it for today's Christmas episode of the Blind Pinterest Challenge. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments which Christmas craft project you thought was the best. If you say the candy cane one, then there's something wrong with you. But anyway, I'll see you on Friday for a brand new video. Bye!